What is up, guys? Alex, you have this Fear World um, monitor, I should say, or ultra bright or viewable monitor for your camera or anything that you're gonna film. I honestly just bought this because I wanted to see if it would help me film better and for me to see the big image, uh, you know, behind me if there's anything in the back. Because the side monitor that my camera has right now is a bit small, and I just got this to put it over the top and then hook HDMI port to it. But yeah, in this video, I'm just gonna be doing a quick review on this, talk about some of the specs and an unboxing, and then I'm just gonna end off the video. But yeah, let's. Let's get on into the video. So here I have the unboxing. I'm just, I already unboxed it to see if it would work with the camera. I have some unfortunate news, but I will be talking about that in a second before you know I finish with the unboxing. So I'm gonna take the uh, thing out. Monitor. This is the FW twenty seven nine S seven inch two hundred and twenty two hundred unit ultra bright daylight viewable field monitor. Right here, uh, it has pixel to pixel here on the side. I'm just moving the specs around the side. It has pixel to pixel. Um, it has check field and it has uh, image inverter or something like that. Yeah, I just took this off. Um, but yeah, here it is. Uh, the monitor right here seven inches not not that big i would say but yeah here i have the monitor um see it's not that big i don't know if i'm going to be able to show you guys um some of the specs but yeah i'm just going to put this off to the side and then show you us what the other things that the box has nothing here that's just to hold up the monitor so again as i said it has this little stand for it right here is a little stand for it put that off to the side and it has this way to way hdmi port that i've taken out to test it out with the camera as i've said before and it has the manual right here if you guys want to read that right here I have one page if you guys want to pause it yeah the mon the uh how to use it you know nobody really reads the manuals anyways we have tools to screw it in with the camera put this off to the side right here um and it has uh it also brings with comes with this it comes with a wipe to clean off the screen right here uh one of those and it also has this other thing that says thank you for shopping with us i guess yeah for yeah and it and then it has this other manual that is in japanese field world monitor uh, i mean manual um but yeah put that off to the side and then yeah i'm just gonna be talking about some of the things that this monitor has Alright guys, so here we have the monitor. This monitor has one in HDMI port and one out HDMI port. It has F1, F2 here up at the top right there. It has these buttons up at the top. I don't know if the camera can tell. But power on, up, down, menu, left, right, F1, F2. And then on the side we have a USB upgrade right there on the side. And then we have a headphone cord if you want to listen to where you're playing from the monitor and then we have a I think this is the charging port if you don't want it hooked up to a battery the entire time um, and then we have here at the bottom where you hook up the stand that they came with to the camera right there again as I said this is a 4k ultra bright monitor bad thing about it I was gonna say the bad thing about this monitor is that when you're recording like the video instead of it showing you like at the top monitor, it shows you on the side monitor. So this monitor turns off when you are recording a video, which is uh, honestly a bad point for me. But if you're just gonna take a picture, I guess, then this monitor will be great for taking pictures. But for recording a video, uh, this monitor turns off when you're recording. But yeah, I'm right now. I'm just gonna talk about the the, the specs. It has a again HDMI in, HDMI out. Comes with a battery. You have to. It, I was surprised it didn't come with the battery for the price of this. Um, monitor seven inch monitor right here uh but yeah you do have to have one of your own batteries for it to fit um and for you to use it that's why i'm returning this but yeah this has image freeze so zoom in you can zoom in uh, without zooming in the camera it has image flip check field exposure histogram and anamorphic mode and buried audio nine grid and yeah that's pretty much it some of the specs about it um i i just set those off right at the bat um, if you guys want to, you know, go back into the video to read them. But, yeah, it has image freeze. Honestly, I did like this monitor for uh, the first time I used it. But when I hit the record button, it 
stopped which was a false you know uh, that's why the main thing that made me uh send it back because this monitor um i honestly got it so while i was recording it would only see on this top monitor than on the side monitor that most cameras have uh, that's more the only reason why i got this monitor um but after i saw that it turned off every time i would record i would just honestly i saw no point in having it so i'm sending it back to the company and i'm probably gonna buy something else same monitor probably but one that doesn't stop while i'm recording um um but yeah all right guys so here i uh have the screen i have it hooked up to the camera right now what you guys are seeing is through my phone so if you guys think the quality you know is not that good for my phone then it's all right because this is the only way i can record this right now okay first things first with this camera or with the screen hdmi i have a connected hdmi in right you can also have it connected with a separate monitor with the other hdmi cable let me just connect it for a second with the other hdmi cable here up on the top right there you can have another separate monitor if you want it hooked up like that but right now we're only gonna use it through this monitor this is a 4k you know hdmi uh, screen and i'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like in a sec so right now it is plugged in wirelessly like with the battery is plugged in wirelessly you can either have it plugged in wirelessly or uh, with a uh, phone i mean with a wire that it comes with if you're on the side it has a usb port on the side and if you guys can see that right there usb port on the side you're able to see it and then here they should be able to turn on in one second all right guys so there is a screen i'm just recording myself real quick um, right there there is a screen uh, for this monitor uh tell me what you guys think for the screen i'm recording with the camera over there all right guys so here is the screen i hope you guys like the quality of the screen it does have a microphone so i'm just trying to get it as far away as possible so you guys won't be able to hear the microphone from the screen but yeah tell me what you guys think right there i'm just recording my face um the chair behind me all the colors and the camera right there or in the screen, this is a 4K HDMI screen. It has the image for pixel to pixel and some other things. But yeah, I just want you to guys to see the camera right there from recording on my phone. But yeah, on to the conclusion. Alright guys, so this is the end of the video for this. Field World 7 inch 2200 unit field viewable monitor for your camera or whatever you're filming. As I said, this has pixel to pixel, zoom in, image freeze, false colors, exposure and it has anamorphic mode and you can either put the audio up on the monitor i guess and with audio um i'm not gonna be able to turn it on right now because it doesn't have a battery on the back but yeah this is just a quick review on this and but yeah hope you guys really enjoyed this video my name is alex and leave a comment if you guys want me to do a review with this or another review or just leave a comment for a suggestion of a video that you guys want me to do i'll make sure to see it um but yeah this is pretty much it see you guys later peace